Lincoln Mitchell. Uh, let's dive right into it. Demos versus um, real accounts. I have a great example for y'all. I mean, a super, super great example. Let's let's dive right into it. This is a this. All these are going to be on the same position. This is that NQ. This NQ really failed on me right here off a of 30 minutes failed sandwich technique. Well, it didn't feel real bad, but I entered it wrong, so I, I'm going to blame that one on me. This sandwich technique was supposed to go up here and knock that out. But as you can tell, it fell horribly. <laughs> this, fuck, this damn thing went way back against me. Same way with this hour. The pullback on the hour was just too devastating for me. Now, how does that play to a real account versus a fake account? I'm going to pull up my top step account. I'm going to pull this one up first. This is top step trader right here, combine. This is a real combine. As you can see, my daily loss is already at $350. And we're going to focus right here. Do you see this? I am negative $190 off that trade alone. That is on the top step program. Let's get now. Remember, this is a failed trade. This is my real account. This is my live account. Both of them are on a failed trade. I was going for 40 ticks. Now, do you see the difference? Let's look at the difference. Look what the entries at on this one. Look what the entries at on this one. One thing about when you're doing real trading, people, your entries and everything is going to be totally different. They're going to be more precise. They're going to be more accurate. You're going to look for things because you have real money on the line. You know, now remember, this was, hey, where, where did the chart go? Remember, people, this was a busted trade. This was a busted trade. And even though it was a busted trade on my top step account, I took a huge loss versus my real account. I'm still in the green. The demos, there's, there's a point in your life where traders like myself, we're worse at demos than we are at real accounts. <laughs> but when you first start, when you first start trading people, when you first start, it's the opposite. When you first start trading, man, you are so good at demos, man, you're knocking demos out. But, and then when you get to a real account, you kind of just, did, I mean, you just fold, fold. Now, it flips around when you get to your real, once you get older and, you know, a little bit more seasoned in this, it does the opposite. Because what happens is, when you're running both of those accounts, the one that's fake money, you're not going to show that much attention to. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, my price for this is uh, seven uh, seventy four eighty. That's what I got, 7480 on this one. <laughs> so it failed. But as you as you tell, I scaled it out versus this one. You know, you can kind of let it ride and still make more mistakes. So, I mean, it is what it is, but you're going to get to that point, people. Trust me, I'm telling you. You're going to get to that point where your know, demos are really, really, really hard to trade anymore. And your real accounts are more easy to trade because you know what's on the line. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly what's on the line. So I'm going to take care of my uh, real account way more than I demo. And that's one of the reasons why it's so hard uh, to for me to pass top step because I know it's fake money. And I'm using the same strategy, the same exact, damn, damn this thing's setting up good. The same exact strategy, I lost one, but one on this one, you know. But uh, anyway, I'm going to cut this short because this is setting up. <laughs> All right, bye.